who's brother of passenger Edward Felt. He's a commissioner on the Flight 93 Advisory Commission, and he's owner and director with his wife Donna of Camp Northwood, a camp for special needs children. Mr. Felt never thinks about his loss alone, but always thinks about the loss of the others, including the entire nation. He's an amazing spokesperson for this project. He's compassionate, he's fair, and he is honest, and he's a wonderful partner in all situations. We are lucky and blessed and honored to have you here with us. Please welcome Mr. Gordon Felt. deeply honored to have the privilege of representing the families of Flight 93 again this year as we take time to remember 40 extraordinary individuals on the anniversary of September 11. First Lady Michelle Obama, Mrs. Laura Bush, Secretary Salazar, Governor Rendell, and all those that have come to pay tribute <coughs> to those who lost their lives in the field of honor that today we look out upon. I'm humbled by your presence. Thank you for joining with so many of our family to remember. <coughs> We've experienced great loss, struggled with strong emotions, formed new alliances, and with each step, developed a clarity of purpose that sustains us. We see on the very ground before and all around us the initial stages in the creation of the Flight 93 National Memorial, a tribute to 40 individuals that took extraordinary measures to thwart an attack upon our country. And, do, and in doing so, not only prevented the loss of lives on ground in Washington, D.C., but helped to preserve our capital, one of the most revered symbols of our democracy. Their actions have fittingly been woven into the fabric of our history, and this memorial will ensure that their collective story and each individual crew member and passenger will not be forgotten by a grateful nation. On this ninth anniversary of September 11th, we return to the site where our families first came to face the horror of our loss, as well as to begin to understand the significance of the actions of our loved ones. I'm truly moved to once again stand with family members, first responders, so many from the Somerset community, and members of the media who were here in those early difficult days. We've come full circle and can once again look out across this western overlook to view the hallowed ground on which the actions of the 40 heroes of Flight 93 led to the loss of their lives, but won an important victory on a stark day that our nation will not soon forget. My, like, my recollections of that first visit to the site are best represented by a vivid, a vivid image indelibly printed upon my memory. As the buses that brought us to the site traveled across the roads of rural southwest Pennsylvania. We were saluted by police officers, firefighters, first responders of all types, as well as met by citizens holding American flags and children holding the hands of their family, all in tribute to the actions of our loved ones. That was the point at which I realized that my brother Edward and the 39 other heroes aboard Flight 93 had not only forged a bond between themselves and revealed their clarity of purpose beyond our comprehension, but also forged a bond between those of us left behind. The families of Flight 93, the people of Somerset County and surrounding area, the citizens of the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, our partners from the National Park Service, the Flight 93 Federal Advisory Commission, the Friends of Flight 93, the National Park Foundation, the Flight 93 Memorial Ambassadors, our representatives in Washington, as well as in Harrisburg, and supporters from all across America and around the world have collectively enabled us to stand here today witnessing the birth of a national memorial. 1.4 million visitors. 65,000 different contributors, nearly 100 volunteers, and several hundred participants in an unprecedented partnership between government and citizenry have, through their presence and or participation, made an invaluable contribution to 
the development of this national memorial. Yet while we look forward to the 10th anniversary of September 11th for the official dedication of the Flight 93 National Memorial, our work is not done. Not only do we need to ensure the timely completion of the memorial, we need to continue to actively remember September 11th, not in anger, but with vigilance, not in despair, but with hope, not with diminished reverence, but with inspiration. For in the message that I hope resonates with all that come to visit the Flight 93 National Memorial or hear the story of our loved ones, the message is that under horrific conditions, at a moment's notice, courage is revealed, heroes are born, and total strangers can form a bond that overcomes adversity and inspires generations to come. Our loved ones, their actions spoke for themselves. Now it's our turn to speak for our loved ones. Thank you.